Hello, my name is Side Papa, and welcome to my channel. If you love sauces, sides, snacks, and some drinks, please like the video and comment on what are some of your favorites. On today's episode, we will be going over the Season 19 sauces from Hot Ones. On January 23rd, 2023, Hot Ones announced the Season 20 lineup, and we've seen Anna Kendrick, Brian Cranston, Lenny Kravitz, and Austin Butler. As I wait to get my hands on the Season 20 box, I want to highlight the great sauces of Season 19. One more thing, before we begin, please subscribe if you like this type of content. Now let's begin. First let's take a look at this packaging. The sauces come in this black box. Here is the front. This is one side. Here is the other. And here is the back. Inside the box we have this great design on this brown cardboard. It also comes with this list of inside featuring all the sauces. Speaking of which let's go over sauces. I'll show you all 10 sauces now but I will review the first 5 sauces for this video. In my video out tomorrow I will review sauces 6 minutes 10, give you my favorite and if I would recommend it. First we have Hot Ones the classic chili maple hot sauce from Hot Ones Hot Sauces. Next we have Sinai Gourmet Tropicante Hot Sauce from Sinai Gourmet from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Following that another sauce from Montreal, Quebec, Canada and Pico Peppers Pico Rico Hot Sauce from Micro Saucery Pico Peppers. Next is Hot Ones Los Caliens Barbacoa Hot Sauce from Hot Ones Hot Sauces. Then we have Fly by Jing Sichuan Gold Hot Sauce from Fly by Jing Base in Los Angeles. Another international pick with chili lengua de fuego turmeric bomb hot sauce form lengua de fuego base in Tegucigalpa, Francisco Moraz in Honduras. We have Karma Sauce Cosmic Disco Hot Sauce from Karma Sauce in Rochester, NY. Da Bomb Beyond Insanity Hot Sauce from Da Bomb Hot Sauces in Kansas City, KS. Exolasis Puckerbutt Pepper Company Unique Garlic Hot Sauce from Puckerbutt Pepper Co. from Fort Bill, SC. And finally Hot Ones The Last Dab Apollo Hot Sauce from Hot Ones Hot Sauces. And before I get into the sauces, I would like to explain my judging or rating system. First is the smell, then how pleasant is the spice, next taste of sauce, followed by aftertaste. Does it make my body feel uncomfortable? Does it go well with guacamole? And finally, does it go well with fries? And at the end, I'll give you my overall thoughts on each hot sauce. Now let's begin. First up, we have Hot Ones the Classic Chili Maple Hot Sauce, with a Scavo rating of 1800. It has a light maple almost like bacon smell, and a pleasant spice level that doesn't overwhelm you but still gives you a little heat. The taste is a combination of maple, tomato, and chili with a slightly warmer feeling going down. It doesn't make our body feel uncomfortable and it doesn't add much to guacamole or fries. Overall, it's a bit bland but nothing bad about it. Next, we have Sinai Gourmet Tropicante Hot Sauce with a Scoville rating of 4000. This sauce has a tropical fruitiness with a floral smell, and the heat is more pungent than the first sauce but in a good way. The heat is more noticeable on the tongue and while swallowing, and it goes well with guacamole and fries. The flavor is not hot, but you get the heat. If you like strong flavors, we highly recommend this sauce. Moving on to Pico Pepper's Pico Rico Hot Sauce, with a Scavo rating of 15,500. It has a strong pepper smell, but no burning sensation and no heat at all. The taste is very nice and reminds us of tacos, and it goes down very smoothly with no burn at all. It adds a strong pepper note to guacamole, but doesn't stand out with fries. Overall, it's a great sauce, but we wish it had more heat. Fourth on our list is Hot Ones Los Calians Barbacoa Hot Sauce, with a Scavo rating of 33,000. It has a heavy BBQ sauce smell that reminds us of a grill. There's no heat on the initial taste, but it has a strong BBQ sauce flavor that's sweet and savory. You get a burst of heat when swallowing, and it adds a smoky element to guacamole and richness to fries. This is probably our favorite sauce so far and would be great for a summer BBQ. Finally, we have Fly by Jing Sichuan Gold Hot Sauce, with a Scoville rating of 46,000. It has a very understated pepper smell that you really have to inhale to get. The spice level starts off light and then slowly builds up, with a focused heat that you taste a few seconds after the initial hit. You get a burst of heat when swallowing, but there's no discomfort. This sauce goes well with both fries and chips and has a subtle but distinct flavor. It's the most unique flavor we've tried so far. There you have it. In the next episode we will go over my sauces 6 through 10, favorite and if I would recommend it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let us know in the comments which sauce you would try. See you later fam.